that scary movie. <laughs> Don't fuck with the Chuck. Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you have a test day. My name is Andrew with the Dig on the channel. I am super excited on coming back in here and giving you guys some more reviews. Yes, I am definitely back again doing some movie reviews as I honestly love talking about movies. I love talking about horror movies specifically and even more specifically, I love talking about found footage movies. That is a huge passion of mine. I always love checking out the brand new found footage movie and even going back and revisiting a ton, like even going back to the old school Blair Witch Project and stuff like that, which we will be doing reviews for all of these found footage movies here out on the channel and uh, also too we're going to be doing some more coverages of some franchises reviews as well uh, and that's going to be starting off with Halloween starting next month here on the channel so keep an eye out for that it's going to be a lot of fun I've already covered you know like Friday 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street and stuff like that but uh, I really wanted to kind of wait kind of closer to Halloween to kind of cover Halloween you know it kind of made sense so definitely keep an eye out for that on the channel but today I really wanted to cover this movie that was released on YouTube uh, a couple weeks ago called Milk and Cereal. It is a found footage film that was uh, written and directed by uh, Curry Marker. Um, and I've never heard of this guy before until I kind of stumbled upon uh, a post on a Bloody Disgusting, basically talking about how awesome this movie was. And I was like, you know what? I definitely got to check it out for myself. And to my surprise, this movie was chef's kiss man this movie is everything i love about found footage up into one little tiny bow now we've had some really great found footage movies this year so far and you know what we still have a few more months left and we actually just got a trailer for the new vhs film uh beyond coming out to shutter i think in october so i'm definitely looking forward to that uh but this movie here really took me by, took me by surprise and i actually watched this movie twice specifically for this review uh just because the first time i watched this movie i was just in awe of just the kind of everything i watched it everything went down and and this movie is for free online i mean i feel like this movie definitely deserves more attention like on netflix or shutter or even to me just to kind of pick it up and get some more views out there because i think the last time i checked there's only like 500k or something like that um which definitely does suck i feel like a lot of people should really kind of hone on the hone in on this and just check it out i hope they do like a physical media release and stuff like that maybe some t-shirt merch and stuff like that um these guys definitely do have a bright future i believe this is their first feature film uh, i don't think it's a feature length film but you know it's roughly about an hour long so you guys can put it on and quickly enjoy it now basically the whole premise of this movie is that they're basically uh pulling a birthday prank that goes horribly wrong and shit kind of goes crazy for social media and all that kind of stuff like youtube and all that kind of stuff with a terrifying aftermath that i do not want to spoil for you guys because i really want you guys to go into this movie blind don't check out any trailers don't even check out any some of the reviews because some of the other reviews i have watched people have kind of spoiled a little bit too much i feel like and i just want to kind of keep this review vague enough maybe i'll do like a spoiler review down the road but i feel like still there's still a lot of people that really need to check this movie out now we have two main people in this movie uh you have curry barker himself who also directed the movie he plays milk it's kind of like the main star of the movie and then you have his friend uh seven who is played by cooper tom tomlinson and they do have their own youtube channel as well which i'll leave links for this movie in the description down below uh they do like a lot of i think like prank videos and all that kind of stuff i didn't really know about these guys until i just started watching this movie and uh uh, this movie is only made for $800 guys like it is possible to do a movie for this cheap now uh, that doesn't take away from the experience by any means I thought it was paced perfectly well and this is kind of and kind of inspired me to like you know even just write movies and you know maybe eventually do my own movie i think that'd be a lot of fun uh found footage has always been like a huge part of my life just from growing up with watching the original blair witch project and then going into and diving deeper into the genre uh there's so many great movies out there and this is definitely one that i'm gonna be putting on repeat for sure multiple multiple times because i definitely do think it is going to be one of those hidden gem movies of the year uh because there is no theatrical release there is no official like digital release or you can't even buy the movie it's just strictly out 
on their channel um which i've watched a couple of interviews and stuff like that and they kind of said why they were doing it that way but I, honestly i would love to see this movie get a huge wide release i think it would definitely do it justice but either way i definitely recommend going to watch this one this weekend it's definitely a lot of fun it's a quick watch and just the uh t the intenseness of this movie is awesome the practical effects here are really good um there's some really solid jump scares in here as well that uh, there was a couple that even got me and i don't usually get scared by jump scares at all but uh there was definitely a couple in here that really kind of got me there's one in the van i think you guys will definitely know uh which one that is once it happens um and i love the overall concept of the movie as well as the kind of completion of the movie as well yes it is an hour long but you do get really good um just how everything kind of turns out you also get on you know people trying to figure stuff out in the movie as well and how everything kind of turned out uh they did a really good job like of the, the investigation type stuff and there, it was just really cool and how everything kind of was like a, a complete package because there's sometimes with these found footage movies that there's a lot that are missing or kind of in the last half an hour of the film is kind of like the big uh, budget kind of part where they put all the money into uh, and there's a lot of build up towards that kind of end piece now there was definitely a lot of that here but I still think the overall full length version of this film was fantastically well done apparently there is like an extra little bit of uh, movie that was cut out of the film but I think it was it was more edited towards being like a YouTube video instead of like a like a feature length movie um, I think one day I would definitely love to see that come out at some point but either way I think this movie is really took me by surprise this year now there's been a couple other movies that have come out this year that i still think are really damn good as well like frogman and something like that i'll be doing reviews for all of those here very soon um this is the first out of many found footage reviews specifically for the channel and i was definitely excited to finally come in here and talk about this one and i'm sorry that this review is kind of vague but i definitely wanted to get this review as vague as possible to get your guys attention to go see this movie uh, as i said it's free on youtube i'll leave links for it in the description down below and with that being said i'm going to be getting milk and cereal easy a it is a fantastic ride and definitely one i think should not be missed by anybody especially if you guys are a found or a fan of found footage movies like myself it is definitely a great time and so with that a rating it's it's definitely going to be hard to beat this year i think it's uh definitely one that took me by surprise and i'm happy i checked it out twice but i hope you guys all enjoy this review but definitely let me know if you guys have seen the movie in the comments down below i definitely do plan on doing a lot more found footage reviews for you guys for some movies i think you all should check out uh definitely stay tuned on the channel and we all enjoyed and i'll see y'all really soon for the next one later guys